everyone so welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on today's video it don't know how we do it already so as you can tell by the title i will be doing a video on the trends that i will definitely not be participating in or just telling you like certain trends that i feel like are just low-key lame and need to like stop right away so without further ado let's get into the video knowing me i'm gonna go forget everything what my want to talk about so i'm gonna have to write it down and i wrote it down in my google notes app yeah i don't use apple notes i feel like that's kind of not my thing so the first trend that i will definitely not be participating in is probably the hottest trend right now the stanley cups all right listen i get it i get it you want to be on top of things you want to be the it girl that girl you want to carry around a big old jug a buckle with water that's fine gone are the days where people just carry a bottle of water gone are the days people carry a little flask gone are the days people roll within like a plastic buckle from amazon gone are the days no people are so invested in these stanley cups these big huge metal clink clink like why if the, the thing is so huge like are you a construction worker the stanley cups cater to people who have long hour shifts work outside they mix mall and they build a house and they need refreshment 24 7 i feel like that is who it's made for not an average everyday person it's something so big on a feel and it looks so cute especially the different color they have and the different releases what they have on a feel and it looks so cute oh my god me stealing her this i want to look that's i want to look crazy crazy they came out with a collaboration i think with starbucks are we boycotting starbucks what's going on y'all just completely forgot about that huh and just decided to run to get it just because it's a different color stop you know you know hyper fix it that's the thing y'all hyper fix it and then when y'all get bored you jump on another trend and you jump on something else i'm not gonna act like i don't jump on trends but this one has to stop so the next one charles and miss netta listen mr netta i get it i get the appeal it's i get it a hundred percent they're funny comedic but y'all be giving fame and giving notoriety to these people and it's like why what what purpose like all the ladies say lady Say is Charles, y'all not ready? And like y'all make this these people big more than what they should be. I don't get that. I do not get that. I will not be entertaining these people. Like every time I see them on my for you page, please, no, not interested. Because it's like first and foremost, it's so hard to like watch the videos because me just internally me keep on a judge and it's like that me no want me no want to have to deal with that me no want to feel guilty every time me I watch it every time I watch it me go keep on a judge me a judge fuck say it's not a woman me a judge fuck say like Charles is not all that for me it's not how they go on so about like this lady is little lady is literally cussing at everybody saying that they are trying to get with her man and that is not the case like look at charles girl he is yours 110 percent he is yours nobody else's like nobody is interested in charles but yet yeah come at us no she gonna make one music video like how the hell how the hell somebody reached this level of stardom to where they can put on music videos about literally nothing charles yeah let's have a nice ring to it charles yeah let's pray day 
I'm waiting on you. What the hell? What about hell is that? But y'all just, I don't get it. This whole thing of like pushing people into film, who I personally, I don't actually not deserve it, but it's like, it didn't it, it go too far to where they like, she feel like she's the icon. She literally said, she said, we're icons, baby. Like, and then the whole issue with him being on live and talking to other women and she's getting insecure. She's saying for coming off live. She's saying for coming off live. I'm like, do you like this? Like, blink once if you're okay, Charles. But yeah, it's just like, y'all stop hyping them up. Like, I feel like Charles cool, like Charles humble, but Miss Netta, she gets a very big head and she talk to people crazy and it's just like, no, it's not. Mm -mm. Mm, no, we will not be entertaining them too for 24. Okay. All right, so my next like trendy thing that's going on that I just don't feel like should get this much attention is Gypsy Rose. So um Gypsy Rose, she if you haven't like if you if you don't know about it, she's this girl who offed her mama because of years and years of abuse and um if you want to know more about it just look into the story it's literally all over the place like if you don't know what it by now like um, you're living under a rock for real but the thing is she didn't directly commit the act like she persuaded her boyfriend at the time to do so and he's still in prison serving i think a life sentence and she's out after 10 years right the internet hyped this girl up into like fame and you know what you know the weird thing is she's just like her mom i said it i said it nobody wants to say it but i said it the lady is just like her mama she's just like her mom very manipulative very strategic like come on i get that you couldn't plan out how it would go after but she literally saw a little buzz around her name and she jumped on that real quick. She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to jump on this. Yep. Mm -hmm. And even if you see the correlation right now, you like if you really look into it, you can tell that there is some similarities between her and her mother and how manipulative she is. Like, I'm hearing that, oh, the guy who she persuaded her boyfriend at the time, he had mental illness. He, he has a mental illness. And like she coaxed him that I word right <laughs> she persuaded him to off her mama I'm sure that we both have a lot of regrets all I can really say is that I did my time he's doing his time for his part um and I wish him well on his journey it's like okay he had a mental illness which means he was not able to like make I guess he fell in love with her. He wouldn't be able to feel like things. Okay, there's a person that tried to use me, and even if it wasn't intentional at the time, it was definitely subconscious because yeah, you're subconscious to use him. Since okay, so, all right, all right. Benefit of the doubt, you did not like intentionally use him. You actually did love him, or whatever the case is, and you just didn't want to run away, escape. Whatever the case is, just it's it's subconscious. Like it's deep rooted. Root and that girl took off her mother so yeah why would i get praise to one, one, one woman what you know our mama that's not right it is not right the other topic that is like a hot topic right now the steph london and Taylor kingdom beef if you don't know they're having alisa you know girl fight all that about Burnaboy. It's not about Burner Boy, but if you look from afar, you go for yourself about Burner Boy. It's really about like standing up, standing up for yourself, and not taking disrespect. I think that's more of what it is about than it is about a man. That's why I say like, me can't really pick a side because it two them are very talented, beautiful, like ten out of ten girls. So it's like, why are y'all fighting? Come together and make some good music and like run the boy, run the boy away. In in literally, I sit on probably a drink a knife to go drink right now and I talk to another bee and I laugh over it. Swano. They give, they bring more hype to your name. Like it just, it's not a, it's not a good look, guys. It's not a good look. Overall, I think Jada won because she come with more like 
bars and it's more catchy and people gravitate to that more but like Steph is such a good artist still I'm a lover so that's something I can't really choose aside I mean don't want to so we're not going to all right so the last thing on my list isn't really much of a big deal but I just don't want to touch funny all right so you said I ace up rock commercial where he was is a rocky commercial where he was um featuring his uh, baby mama's new product i think it's a new product the chopsticks and he was using it yeah mm. yeah nothing's wrong with that but this uprise where men are not using chopsticks people really think that it's because of asap rocky why the men are coming out now and using chapsticks a lot it is not it is not because of that they've been doing it before they've been doing it long before and come up with their commercial mm -hmm. they've been doing that they've been using chapsticks long before which is fine that's fine we don't want dry lips we hate dry lips over here no they feel comfortable showing it like now they feel comfortable pulling it out of their pockets and putting it on because look ASAP Rock do it and I'm a masculine man he have one baby mother he have kids he's straight he do it so what wrong if me do it it's more so like that so now they can say okay look he did it and he's straight so I can do it and not have to battle with proving my masculine masculinity to you it's basically like that they've been doing it long before that honey don't think i just know people like men start plot chopsticks they just start plotting with with no shame now <laughs> like now they just start plotting because yeah asap do it so it's cool it's cool <laughs> but yeah i don't feel like that's nothing to bash anybody about um this is kind of like a trend where i don't think nothing's wrong with it so i wouldn't really like and i, I can't really participate in it because it's like a male thing so and my lips them always go stay moisturized so yeah yeah but yeah guys that is it i think it's a five or six topics that i'm touching on yeah like it was a short video i don't this won't take a while for it but yeah it was a short quick to the point of video thank you so much for watching if you have any more video ideas for me please make sure to put it in the comment section please comment i love to see and read y'all's comments they're just so fun it's so fun to like <laughs> interact yay we love to interact over here make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified every time i upload okay so i will see you guys in another video i love you guys i'm a done talk bye guys <laughs>